Okay, so, um, I decided to make a little video about my latest fun project for all you, uh, people who like to sit there and build things. And this is a nerd's dream right here, and you'll love this. If you ever heard of the Hitachi Micro Drive, uh, this is one pulled out of an iPod Mini. Um, it actually, I took the, the label off, which is why it doesn't look like you would see in an iPod Mini. But this is 6 gig, and... Coincidentally, it's the only one that works, but it's the one that looks the worst. This one I bought off of eBay. It was already broken, and I decided to put it in a case and make a little stand out of it. And this is a nice idea, but then I came across another broken one, and I decided to make a keychain out of it. Another keychain, uh, a necklace, using a ball chain, and... I looked up online uh, on a wiring diagram and I was like, you know what, I bet this thing could work. So I plugged it into my card adapter and I decided to see if I could get it to run and it did. So what I did on the back was, you know, I put a battery on there and there's a little switch on the side and it charges up and I took a bunch of, or I took one LED out of my bunch this thing got sucked into my fan and it blew LEDs everywhere and that was a really annoying mess to pick up. I did not need that. I had to like duck for cover so I didn't get like shot with LEDs. But what I did is, you know, when you put on the little switch and here's how you can see. And this thing will actually run. See the little thing head spinning. And the, uh, the disc itself is also spinning, so I stop it. Do the little four corners on there, and then... So this is my little necklace that I made. It's a micro drive. It's actually a hard drive from an iPod mini. That's still pretty thin, though. It's kind of bulky, but that's cool. And this is what they look like inside. And if you need any information about the wiring diagrams or what I use for a power source, right here I used a rechargeable lithium ion cell from an MP3 player, 3.7 volts. Um, the actual microdrive can run on a range from 3.3 .3 volts to 5 volts. So. Um, anyway, if you do need the wiring diagram or if you have any questions on how to convert your own microdrive into a necklace or a keychain, I can definitely help you out with that one. It's a nice, it's a neat project, you know. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd uh, show you that one and see what you guys think. Well, that's about it for now.